Good morning and welcome back everybody to the morning announcements. My name is Ali Abdul Sader and today is Monday, October 3rd, 2022. Now on to Iowa with some important dates and information. Good morning, Class of 2026. Today you can vote for your fellow Class of 2026 student council. Check your email for a message from Mr. Jadola and for a Schoology code on how to vote for the Class of 2026 student council. The code for uh, the student council should be somewhere here along the screen, the Schoology code. Uh, during tractor time, enroll in the Schoology course and then vote for your Class of 2026 President, Vice President, Secretary, Treasurer, and Representatives for the Student Council. Good luck to everyone. Thank you, Aya. Now back to the morning announcements. If you have any stories or events that you would like her to promote it, please see Dr. K in Room A100 or send her an email. With that being said, see you next time. Hi, this is Coach Murray, and I'm here with a couple members of our boys varsity soccer team. We have Hattie Saad, Mohammed Coder, Captain Ali Alami, and Mohammed Bader. And uh, we were asked to answer a couple questions about our team and our season. Uh, I'm extremely proud of the way that we've been playing. Uh, we've off to a great start. We're 13-0-1, and, and uh, we have a, a complete team of guys who are just working hard and uh, are all focused on the same goal. Gentlemen, what are some of your thoughts? Uh, I'm just really proud of us because going into the season, we didn't have a great start, but after the preseason friendlies, we got like our rhythm and we started being a dominant team. Um, we came in strong at first, and then till now we're still strong and we're undefeated. So hopefully we take it far, you know, we win district and hopefully we win our league. I feel like we built relationships through the team and that helped us the most. Like we're all connected as a team and the hard work we put each other in practice, like the game plans, we all listen to what the coach tells us, we all play as a team. I feel like that's the thing that's the, helped us be the most successful. I think they pretty much said it all, but it's just us playing like a family. It's more like, it feels more like a family than a team. And this has just been great. Favorite game this season? I would have to say my favorite game this season would uh, have to be our first game against Stevenson. It was a uh, team that we've uh, played competitively in the past but haven't quite been able to beat. And uh, these guys played a fantastic game and uh, won 2 nothing. Uh, my favorite game was probably against Etzel because I feel like that's the first time we actually played as a team and we got all of our possessions like set for the rest of the season. My favorite game was against DHS. We beat them by one goal, but later on in the season when we play them again, we're Let's gonna see. beat them by more. Uh, my favorite game was probably, it has to be against Stevenson because we're going against a team that never lost in like 20 games. No team has defeated them in the league. And we just went in and dominated them from the beginning. We listened to what the coach told us. And we just, we, we out-possessed them, outplayed them through the whole game. I definitely have to agree with Eddie. I think Edsel was my favorite game this season because there are a bunch of people that we've, we've known and that we, you know, we Rivalry. built Rivalry. rivalries with. And it's just, it's, it's always fun to beat them. Coach, who are the top scoring play players this season? Uh, our three top scoring players this season are uh, Yaya Al-Hawati, uh, Mohaned Asad, and uh, Bashar Othman. Uh, both guys are actually approaching, all three guys are approaching close to 10 goals at this point uh, and should be well over that by the end of the season. How do you guys usually prepare before a game? Uh, we're usually pretty routine. Uh, we have a, a warm-up that we, we use every game. Uh, we try to make sure the guys are, uh, are stretched out, that, that we get some uh, possession work. Uh, we get some shots on net and then uh, you know, just really try to mentally be ready for uh, the challenge ahead. Uh, for me, I usually just like listen to music and cut out all distractions and just focus on what's coming up and just play my hardest. Right, for me, I just come in with the right mindset. I feel like as a team, we all put each other like we put each other in the best position we could possibly be and focus only on the game the day before. And then we just start motivating each other and keeping each other on test during warm ups. Yeah, definitely just having a routine that you always go back to and just the same set of warm-ups, getting your body right before a game and all that. How do you guys usually calm yourself before a game or during uh, a game? I mean, if I'm lucky, I got a, I got a large cup of coffee, which kind of keeps me uh, <laughs> mellowed and, and good. Uh, but really, it's just, uh, you know, when, when things get rough, it's, it's just taking a deep breath, um, trying to refocus on, on what our game plan is, and then uh, just drawing advice from, uh, from coaches around me and, uh, and the players I trust. and you know, trying to uh, just continue to keep everybody uh, calm and steady. <clears throat> For me, I like to keep my head up and just take deep breaths, and uh, I start singing, like, DTB in my head because, like A, -Bo A Boogie said, DTB. Uh, I, f I feel like when we're on the field and, like, we make mistakes with each other, like, we got 10 other brothers to push us through and help us, like, keep moving forward, you know what I mean? So it's never, you're never alone on the field, and you always got something to keep moving you uh, forward. I think just the one thing is just 
block out all the noise. I, li- I like to listen to music. James Brown is one of my favorites. It just, just focus on the game and cancel everything out. What's your favorite part about competing against other teams? Uh, my favorite part is honestly watching our guys uh, just rise up to uh, to another level. I mean, sometimes uh, whether it's just the the passing, uh, I mean, some of the goals that we've scored this year, or just you know how how dominant we can be when we're on, uh, it's it's a hell of a lot of fun to watch. Uh, for me, it's seeing the frowns on their face after they talk all that crap on social media, <clears throat> Ali Hamoud, uh, and I like just celebrating in their face while they're crying. For me, it's just to shut all those trash talkers. Uh, I feel like during the games, like before the games, they like talking, and during the games, I don't know, I don't hear them talking. They're just talking to the coaches. But the coach can't go play on the field for them, but I just love seeing our team happy and them sad and the trust players cry, you know what I mean? Yeah, what he said is pretty much just <laughs> just, just seeing, uh, especially our rivalries with like Dearborn and Etzel, just, just watching them like get sad after the end of, like, end of the game. That's the best. There's nothing better. Any last words? Uh, no, we just want to thank everybody for all the support um, and the uh, attention that we've been getting recently. It's, it's great uh, having our administrators, our, our fellow students, our staff uh, congratulating us and uh, cheering us on. Uh, it's been a great season so far, and uh, you know, the work's not done, but we got a lot of really uh, great things left to accomplish. So, uh, if you're <laughs> I'm Miss Nora, for those who don't know, and I'm sure many of you have heard about the upcoming pink out on October 14th, both in school and at the Dearborn for sports and football game. So I just wanted to explain a little bit behind the pink out, the person behind this year's efforts. This year we're raising money for a five-year-old student named Mesa. She goes to one of the elementary schools in Dearborn. She also has a twin sister named um, Dahlia. So the, any of the money that we raise from selling shirts, from selling pink out gear, like bandanas, bracelets, necklaces, lanyards, anything at all, 100% of the proceeds that we raise will go directly to Mesa's family to help them with any expenses that they have. This cause is very, very dear to my heart because I've had, I had a student years ago who actually passed from cancer and I saw how much support the family needed from the community so our hope is that Mesa is going to beat this, and when she does, she'll remember that she always had the Fortson community behind her. So please, if you're interested, visit A101, A102, or one of the Interact Club members in the cafeteria during lunch to donate or to buy whatever gear you like. Thank you.